Finally, the international stop is over, and no doubt it ended with some brilliant strikes and assists from our players in the national teams. So let's start our English news for today from Al Ahli Online TV with the headlines. Al Ahli international players qualify Egypt national team to the Africa Cup of Nations. Al Ahli fans welcome the team's delegation in Sudan. Musimani, we have to end the group stage in the best way possible. Kohraba to return to full training after Sudan's trip. ABF confirms Al Ahli's victory over Zamalek in basketball derby. Al Ahli will not participate in African volleyball competitions. Egypt to participate in the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon 2022 after the great performance made by Al Ahli's players in the last two international games within Egypt's national team as Mohamed Magdi Afsha scored a goal against Kenya in the second minute of the match which was held in Kenya and the game ended with a 1-1 to -one draw. While in the second decisive match against Combros, Magdi Afsha assisted in scoring three goals out of four goals. One of them was scored by Muhammad Sharif, who also assisted in Muhammad Salah's goal. And the match ended 4-0, but proved the strength of Al-Ahli players even within the national team. However, Al-Ahli will miss Hamdi Fatih for six weeks due to his broken arm. Our fans welcomed Al Ahli's delegation to Sudan upon the team's arrival at Khartoum International Airport. Al Ahli fans cheered for our players and the coaching staff and wished them luck ahead of our upcoming game on April 3 against Al Marikh in match day 5 of the CAF Champions League group stage. The Red Eagles currently sit in second place, three points behind Tanzania Simba, with a total of seven points in four games. Batsu Musimani, Al Ahli's head coach, spoke about the team's upcoming match against Sudan's Al Marikh in the fifth fixture of the CAF Champions League group stage, saying that defeating Al Marikh will allow us to achieve many goals, such as qualifying to the next round, keeping our hopes in being the group leaders, as we will face Simba in the last fixture, and sending a message to all the other teams that we are always capable of winning away from home. He ended his words describing the CAF Champions League as a marathon. The most important thing is to end it in the best possible way. Mahmoud Kawaba, Al Ahli's winger, apologized to Betsu Musimani, Sayyid Abdul Hafiz, and the team players before the team's training sessions on Wednesday. Abdul Hafiz stated that Kawaba will join the team's full training after the game against Al Marikh. Our winger Kawaba trained away from his teammates to maintain his fitness level during his one month suspension. The Egyptian Basketball Federation EBF held an emergency meeting on Tuesday to discuss the incidents of Monday's derby between Al Ahli and Zamalek in the Egyptian league. The EBF declared Al Ahli victorious in the game as Zamalek violated the competition's rule as the EBF decided to hold the games behind closed doors. Also, the EBF imposed a 30,000 Egyptian pound fine on Zamalek and forced Zamalek's basketball team to play one of their home games away from home. Al Ahli Board of Directors, headed by President Mahmoud Al Khatib, decided during the meeting on Sunday that our men's and women's volleyball teams will not participate in the African Clubs Championships scheduled in Tunisia in April. The board's decision came to ensure the safety of players amid the coronavirus pandemic. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.